Indianapolis is home. It's where I grew up. Nobody is prouder than their own hometown than me. I got my childhood home, the local grocery store, church. I might have became famous, went to Hollywood. Please say hello to Mike Epps. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> you got married, yeah. and you had a stand-up come out all like in the same way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a, a devil, devil. There's nothing in the world like Indianapolis, Indiana to me. That's why I'm buying back my block. You heard it right. I bought my whole childhood block back. I'm not gonna lie, my neighborhood has seen its days. But me and my wife, Kai, we're gonna change one property at a time. I'm not just rebuilding homes. I'm rebuilding a community. It's your man, Mike Epps. And I'm Kyra Epps. And we're here to buy my black back. Oh, <laughs> shit. Buying black, buying, <laughs> buying a black block. And we buying back the block. Calm down. Calm down. 1975, 33, 37 Carlton. That was, it was everything. Everyone knew each other. It was fun. Kids were playing out in the street. We would pop the fire hydrant sometime. Fire department would come out, shut the water off. <laughs> Just like, go to the swimming pool. It was a lot of fun. In the late 80s, turned into something different. It got a little rough. We grew up poor. We didn't have the money to keep the home, so. I started buying properties maybe about 15 years ago. The first home that I bought was my childhood home. The second home was my grandmother's house. And I told my mom, I said, Mama, I'm going to go back and buy every house we got kicked out of. I bought six homes on my childhood block that we actually got evicted from when we were kids. Mike is bringing in the contractor, getting all those people, and then I typically jump in when it's time to do the kitchen, the layouts, um, appliances, and then by the See time that. I'm getting myself into that, he's on to the next house. I'm telling you, I know you don't smell it, but I smell mold. He can't pick paint colors. I mean, like, he wants burnt oranges, greens, and I'm like, it's not gonna work. Let me handle it. Let me do it. You don't know what you're doing. This is my thing. I was just telling shit. them about how amazing you are with paint. Well, she is definitely, <laughs> uh, she has an eye for. This is so crazy. New things. New things, okay. We cannot finish a property without Chase and Anthony. They're badass builders, I like to call them. And they're some. They get it done. They're some beer drinking, Errol Smith listening. You, yeah. Yeah. And and while they build and yeah. you, you smell beer and you hear the nails and hammers. Right. <laughs> I'm Anthony and this is Chase. And we're kind of Mike's go-to guys here on Carrollton. It's always like a party. It's fun. It's exciting. I'm always excited to see what they come up with. They're loud as hell, but <laughs> <laughs> they get the job done. They like are this. loud as hell. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen him shovel anything? I think so. Look at him. <laughs> he did. Yeah, right. <laughs> Mike, tell him you're working hard. but we have six properties that are back to back on the block. Starts with 2050, which is the big house we call it, the blue house that we live in. We changed that house completely. That house was traditionally a fire home when Mike purchased it. And then since I've come on the project, I'm like, I wanna paint this house super dark, make it monochromatic, give it a very sexy vibe. I thought the block was missing that. If you're standing in front of Big Blue, which is 2050, and you look directly to your right, it's gonna be 2054 Carrollton. This is what I like to call the Army House. What I do wanna do and what we talked about is I would love to extend the porch a bit. Also, this particular home has a very triangular roof, so I would love to open that up and extend the bedroom upstairs to make it a four bedroom instead of a three bedroom. If you are back at Big Blue, you go two more houses down to 2058. This is Mike's baby. 
here. This is his grandma's house, original from the 50s. They've owned it since then. I haven't seen the inside of it. I know you went in and like tore everything out. Yeah, I gutted it. I took it and pulled all the walls out of it, pulled all the old plumbing and electricity out of it. I wanted to make it new. If you're back at Big Blue and you go three houses down to the corner home, this is my next favorite home. This house, cosmetically on the outside, is better yeah. than the other houses. It needs a lot of work on the inside. Yeah, it needs a gut. And then 3337, this is the home that Mike grew up in with his mom and brothers yeah. and sister. I would love to keep that home identical to what it is, mm -hmm. but just modernized. Because again, that's another special home to Mike. And I know we can't live in all these places, so it's like, why well, keep them there? But you know, this is, this is what it's about. We really enjoy building these houses, these yeah. homes. They're not just regular homes. These are homes with history. Mm -hmm. You're doing this for the generations to come, like our grandchildren. Yeah. You know? So don't forget, kids, yeah. we buying the block back so you can have something.